What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. And so to pick up where we left off, uh, the Mughals are in really bad trouble. We have pretty much broken their back through amphibious landings and now we're really squeezing them in. So we're going to take this force under Mr. Guerrero. We're going to attack this, this uh, garrison force here at Calcutta, which is not very well equipped at all. So let's push and destroy them. The second force will make um, all available speed west in an attempt to uh, engage well any forces that currently exist in the Calcutta region plus uh, make good progress towards one of their interior cities. Um, we can't really move on many more of their towns this turn but next turn near almost all of them I think can fall in a single strike. Misty, eh? Field artillery is going to stay on the left and trot up to the high ground. Let's give them some infantry to support. Got rockets to provide long range fire support, plus howitzers engaging. Let's get my elites to advance through the town. Skirmishers are going to bridge the gap between them. This is the first outing of the Cazador, which look pretty awesome, I think. They look really good. They look really nice. So let's put all... Most of my mo more mobile cavalry on the left. I know you might think mobile cavalry, that's pretty dumb. Well, the idea is that my cuirassier, if they need to, they can just sit down and slog. First of all, get my guns up to the high ground. Get my infantry advancing at maximum speed. Get my light infantry to secure the centre. Get my Swiss guards to push up quickly. Yeah, all that quick line, it doesn't do any good. Almost obliterated my marines. Rocket artillery should do some good work though. Or not. Let's keep the Guardia decor wide. Bought this in line infantry to pivot around the flank and crush all opposition. So they can quickly move up. I didn't make my light infantry run but these men are going to advance up maybe even ahead of them it's such a change of pace playing this compared to Napoleon Tower War 3 strategic mobility is more of a thing They're massing on the right flank, though. That's not necessarily great for us. Let's get my elite infantry to get more towards the centre. Get these two units to advance up. So you men hold this centre section. How it says begin quick liming it up on this massive block of troops on the flank. Light infantry can come back. Get the guard infantry wide. The infantry itself advance, the cavalry get back out wide again rocket artillery doing some good work here oh quick line through the buildings 
cleared out a significant number of troops. Pick new targets, pick the garrison musketmen. Hit the armed populace in the rear. Get my guard, yeah, the infantry. Into the mix, they're broken. Push on into the musketmen there. The infantry that's advancing on the left. Push. These two units charge forward into the armed populace. Switch my. Yeah, I was about to say switch my howitzers to round shot. Not really necessary at the moment. Skirmishers can go wide, but they might not even be necessary anymore. You men charge the musketmen. Firelock arm populus is going down. Let's charge this line infantry unit into the musket unit to give them some support. Push my infantry up. Yeah, the unit that's to the rear is collapsed. Okay, let's turn off my howitzers for now for good. Skirmishers didn't really get a chance to get involved. You continue to just attack this armed populace unit. There we go. Got my lancers around here somewhere. Oh no, they're chasing down the enemy. Get these troops to form up on the ridge line. Everyone has collapsed. Get my lancers to try and hit the garrison musketmen. That's enough to make them rout. There we go. Good stuff. So that's the Calcutta garrison dealt with. So I can already, I already can see they don't even have basic um, roads built. So yeah, there is an army to the north. But that's what my reinforcement army is going to advance up to deal with. Let's get this territory to start earning some... Well, it doesn't have to earn any cash, really. Do a bit of upgrades. I could deal with them. But this force here has got almost a straight run to Hyderabad, which is far too tempting to uh, forget about. This guy's... You're not far from Nagpur. You're not You're not far from Nagpur. This guy's not far from Hyderabad. To be honest, Mr. Reyes, if you can leave Bishapur, which you can't, which is a bit of a shame, but meh. Got a load of armies pushing on towards Akbarabad to the north. I think this is probably as far as we can get ambitiously in this turn. So soon. Well, soon. Yeah. Well, let's, fin let's finish off India first. Begin redeploying my troops to the west. And then we can uh, order 66 New Spain and land across their entire frontier. You know what's coming, don't you, New Spain? You're all that's left. It's chiefly because they don't own a part of the world that we particularly need. Aha, the Inuit are attacking my force that's landed to the north. Good. We will withstand their attack, push them back, and uh, yeah, take this territory, hopefully reinforce them, send them around to the north, and attack the Plains Nation's peoples. Let's see. We're going to form a defensive line, and then just engage. Have at it, and have a great time. So put two fusiliers and two regular infantry in the centre. Which I might even deploy slightly off centre. Okay. Du, 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 du. Deploy, deploy. Got some good infantry to protect the flanks. 
I'll probably redeploy them once the the battle is the battle has begun. Carabiniero Royale, these are some of the first first use of these troops, I think. But they look pretty damn smart. And then my hussars can deploy on the right. Heavy horse howitzers hunker down. So the garrison from the uh, the nearby town is coming to join them, but it will not make much of a difference, especially when those troops are actually the bulk of their effort. They expose themselves just too long. Poor, poor souls. Here come the garrison. So they're going to hit our left flanks. We're going to want to try and move up our right when we can. Let's speed up time because at the moment it's just... They are still attacking the, those hidden units though, which is interesting. You don't. It looks like you don't even have to maintain visibility. Yeah, start canister shotting them. It's a bit more reliable when they're close. Okay, you men can advance. Get these guns limbered up. Scout with my cavalry. You guys need to run considering what's coming. Shrapnel shot the chief's bodyguard coming in. That's pretty handy. My chief wanted to redeploy these guns. The amount of tribal gunners getting into a bit of back and forth with my infantry. Canister shot the musketmen. You guys begin shrapnel shotting some of the troops coming into the rear. This regiment of infantry is more than enough to route that garrison bow unit. Especially as they're already wavering. And they're already routing. Some more for good measure. Get my howitzers to work on the... Ooh, the chief's bodyguard is actually going to go for my guns. No, they aren't. Retarget. You drop into square. Two chaps and limber. The left flank is just broken. Begin shrapnel shotting. The troops coming in. There we go. There's a native garrison native bowmen, so I'll send my cavalry in to chop them up before my infantry get into position. Get my medicine men to start attacking the troops advancing in as well. Make sure my cavalry is out wide, especially my carabine, my, my carabine and my um, skirmish cavalry, because they've got they actually outrange line infantry, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, the chief's bodyguard's made it to my line, but he's hit the engineers, which isn't necessarily the best unit to try and attack. Hello, medicine men. Ooh, warrior society. Okay. One how on a how it's a unit to go after them, please. I 
Hey, why are my gunners going after the medicine men? There we go, you men charge on the flank of the Warrior Society, my gunners retake their position on the guns. Yeah, they're trying. Turn fire it will off. Form a more coherent line. Fire it will on. So you men pour a volley into the flank of that warrior society. And you miss everyone, so you must be going must have been going for the unit in the combat. Men push up ahead, switch my how it's just a round shot. There you go, you men attack the Warrior Society. Get my regiment of horse in against that unit of Warrior Society. New men charge on. My battle line. Advance, leave my gunners behind. I'm going to switch them to round shot. Yeah, you've done, you're, you're doing some good damage. So those infantry form line as part of the regular army. Those are just bowmen. Although that might be what we're just... That might just be what's around nowadays. Eh, bring my cavalry in. Bowmen. Yeah, it's just a lot of bows. Depleted bows at that. Well, they're about to get a little bit more so. Ceasefire, the artillery, all of it. Curacier are going to do a number on many many of these units <laughs> eh. you could try kill them but why why allow them to regenerate these garrison units actually if we don't if we kill them they'll get fresh ones from the city whereas if we don't kill them they will stay in their depleted state come on there we go Another unit of native bows to the rear. They aren't going to last. Not against this block of cavalry charging around. <laughs> Poor native troops. They're making ready. Oh. Volley fire present. Who's that leading the charge? The Curassier, the 36th Horse Guards. Pouring tremendous low amounts of hurt onto the enemy. But that should be all of them. That's quite a devastating loss for the uh, the Inuit people. But yeah, the hope is I can maintain enough uh, damaged garrison troops in the city that they won't Although, it looks like we can just storm and attack the city next turn. The offer to come and protect her, and I say no. We didn't. We weren't able to intercept their re-garrisoning of their city because we weren't within range, or we didn't have any movement points. Allow our brig to be lost. You can raid away, good sir. Raid away. There's plenty more troops where that came from. Ah, that's a bit annoying. They broke my port. The last gasp of a dying empire. I'll allow it. 
<laughs> this men are trying to hightail it up towards Akbarabad. Denmark knows what's up. The Cherokee have always known what's up. They've always known. But let's see if we can make this the turn where we destroy the Mughal Empire. They're not within range. And Miguel Capitello, you're not... No, you're not within range. If they had better roads, their downfall would be much sooner. You're not within range. Yeah, to be honest, I could just sprint forward with a cavalry unit. That will do it. You can try to demand the surrender of Nagpur. Yeah, they did give it to us. Um, Mr. Aguerto, you're not going to be necessary, really. Because we've just blitzed through most of their territory. Felix Galas and Federico de Soria. Strictly speaking, you are probably the best to attack Akbarabad. I mean, it's giving us heavy bad odds, but I don't agree with that one bit. Um, yeah, with the capture of these two cities, the territory is ours, to be honest. If I take my heavy... Oh no, this cavalry unit... No, do you not have movement? It's telling me I can move you there. Okay, what about my light, this regiment of horse then? Oh, that's... Weird, that's really weird. Okay. Now you guys can... Ah, oh, they demanded surrender. They didn't, they didn't accept our surrender. I mean, that's going to be just a time sink <laughs> that's gonna that that would just be a huge time sink granted it a big huge amount of damage to both of our armies down here but the amount of time it would take to actually fight that battle for the garrison that's actually with trying to stop us not worthwhile not when we can destroy the mughal empire with a two front with a two uh, army attack against akbarabad they have some reinforcements coming in but i don't care we got fortifications, we've got a lot of melee troops, we're going to want to be a bit careful. But let's take them out. Let's destroy the Mughals. Then we can spend a bit of time um, reorganising, upgrading, rebuilding our Indian infrastructure. Especially when... Uh, well, to be honest, do we really, even then, do we really need to? Um, because we are not that far off of the end of this Spanish campaign, to be honest. We own all of Europe. We're about to own all of India. See, immediately, as soon as the rain begins, no audio. Drop the howitzers down. Plenty of range. So, my colonial line plus my guerrillas are going to be up front with my uh, tertiary pikes. Then on the flank, my Grenadiers, my Royal Courier Dragards, my Regimento de Soria, and my Walloon line can advance up the flank. My cavalry is going to join in the front as well. There we go. Okay, so my gunners... Attack any section of the wall. The howitzers are going to unload on the centre, most likely. Yep, yeah, there they go. Well, they're realistic. That's a lot of fire against us. So I might actually retarget them against the wall. Just to make sure my... Because uh, I can make them attack the centre as much as I like once we've got a breach. But it looks like this section of the wall is going to collapse. I'm going to want to focus on the... Melee troops. Actually, no. No, you know what? You guys... I'll allow it. Yeah, you can attack the war elephants, because all of their melee troops are here. Although actually... Heh heh heh! It's a quick lime action. Like that! <laughs> we got our way in. Do they... I don't... Eh, 
I don't think they had mortars. Begin our advance. Especially as we know, without sound, it's going to be a bit weird. Oh god, that guy got hit in the head by a cannonball. Well, they've made our breach. Oh, they do have mortars. Eh. We have two armies ready to attack. I think the howitzers have been... Are they attacking on our orders? They are. So let's see, see them reload. And then drop some more good times on the centre. Yep, yeah, there goes the general. <laughs> okay, get my guns to work on. They, they, they must be firing at will at this point. Okay, the mortars are firing. So let's get my men running. Let's get my cavalry in position. As as is tradition, the pikemen are going. The artillery is going for my um, general. Some of my guns are actually attacking the center, which is really useful. Uh, but yeah, the, the the AI just loves going for my pikes. They love going for pikemen. Seek Musketeers, Armed Populars, Seek Musketeers. Yeah, they, they've got some scary stuff. Seek, but Seek Musketeers are actually fairly pretty good, I think. At which point, actually, then you guys can stop attacking the centre if my artillery is going to do that for me anyway. And start to attack some of the units defending the breach. So one of our Grenadiers... Oh no, they're going to come out and play... Very well. Some of our units... Why, why isn't your order showing? Oh, because I uh, hit shift. Did not want to hit shift. I wanted to give them the order now. You climb the wall. You climb the wall. You climb the wall. You climb the wall. Musketeers, Kizilbashi. Indian mercenaries get my pike when involved because if I don't get them involved now they never will so let's beef up the other breach as well let's get some colonial line to back up the pikes in theory we can charge through the gate that's usually a bad decision because if they change their mind then uh, your men are stuck okay you guys yeah I just realised that you blew that guy's head off but the Grenadiers are pouring volleys into the uh, the gatehouse, which is quite useful. Oh, that's a devastating quick climb here in the centre. Charge my pikes in. They can afford to. This infantry just hold ground, push my pikes up. It's another entrance that's being blown, been blown in the wall by my artillery on auto, my artillery on auto, well, autopilot, I suppose. But my pikemen will have a grand old time engaging the enemy. To you, war elephants coming in. No, nope, the war elephants have been reduced to one last elephant, although they sent a bunch of my guys flying. They've they've routed. So we've secured this gate. So in theory, because we don't want to go through it, the gate should close. Yeah, they, they're now going to run through another gate to try and get in. Maybe it can't close because there's so many men. Bring, bring this infantry inside. 
you men charge the Kizilbasha unit here. These units run, get my cavalry in as well. You men charge down and engage the Firelock Arm Populace. My Royal Cairo Infantry Guard attack this unit that's coming up through here. My Grenadiers can attack the Levy. Charge down the, the steps and engage the enemy, including the Dervishes that are trying to stop us. I want my infantry in to begin engaging the centre with with um, fire by rank. Although it looks like the camels are coming in, so drop into squares. I want them to protect my cuirassier. Because I want my cuirassier to hit the enemy formation here in the rear. Got to be careful, because we'll start to bring in enemy reinforcements. Okay, you men... Abandon your defensive position and push in through the gate. The Regimental de Soria is engaging. You can try and form rank. I'm pretty sure I must have just got, must have had a quick climb um, friendly fire incident there. Tercio Pikes have finally run out of Pikes. As expected, to be honest. You men form square and stay in square. Let's get some of our units out of the... the gatehouse. Yeah, I think that that's a unit that suffered from some sort of quicklime friendly fire incident. No, nope. you men exit. Exit this engagement. And begin to take out the enemy artillery pieces. This engagement on the wall has nearly claimed all of my troops. Here comes the enemy reinforcements. So that's why we want to get out of the, get through the gate as quickly as possible. Fine. You men attack the the um the enemy cavalry. You can attack them. Get the Walloon line infantry through here as well. You can attack 24 pounder. You can have jumped onto this unit of dervishes. Even though that's not explicitly what I'd like you to do. Cease fire my artillery. Get my Walloon line to charge the men in the centre. These men can engage the nomads. All my artillery run. They are surplus to requirements. Let's get this infantry to also join the battle for the centre. You're going to have to kill that dervish unit, otherwise they'll keep you bogged down. You men get onto the wall. Okay, you guys deploy square. Because the enemy cavalry is coming. Oops, don't know why I clicked that for. So you men charge in and attack the Sikh Musketeers. Got to get my general in here, actually. He's not done anything. Especially when my men have held on so valiantly against pretty much everything that's been thrown at them. So you men get over here to help protect the breaches. You're attacking the artillery, but it's taking a bit of time because for whatever reason you guys don't want to attack it. The Royal Cairo Infantry Guards are continuing to attack the Sikh Musketeers. Okay, we're starting to get dominance in the centre, although not, not decisively. I mean, you have to try and kill them. Because these guys are bogging down my... Bogging down my troops. Hello, Kizilbashi Musketeer unit at full strength. So all my artillery that was running away... They've limbered up, but now they have to actually run. Send some more men to attack the centre. Although, no, you are trying to block... So you men form squares, because there's Sipahi trying to find their way in. 
the enemy artillery is making their way into the settlement as well. You guys can get out of square and attack the Firelock Armed Populace. Kill them. Kill them. Okay, let's bring my general to the center as well. Make my infantry both attack the Sikh warriors. You men attack the 15th Dakil. One unit that's still alive that could over that could, that could really chuck a thing of cold war onto the whole business. So you men form line. Hey, I've got sounds now. There you go, charge men off the walls. You get you guys attack the gunners. My general's holding the centre. So if this lasted any longer, I have more reinforcements coming in in the distance. My cuirassier, their job is to hold the line. Whatever friendly fire may be may bring. You may need to run over here and block that gate rapidly. Kizobashi coming in, but that's just one unit. It'll take them a while to get through my line. You men form a square because you've got a two man that's coming in. It's a bit dodgy. I'm going to fall this unit back into the centre. There we go. I think we've blocked them enough. we got enough units acting as breakwaters that even if any of their cavalry does leak through, it won't get to the centre square and reset the precious timer. He gave it a good effort, enemy of the state, but not good enough. Oh, thank God, I went to click on that unit. <laughs> oh, God, I'm glad I didn't click on continue by accident. My God. But there we go. With a swing of a sword... The Mughals have been defeated. Then our troops can reorganise. Felix Galas, get down to here, I suppose. Then our force here, then our ports here, start building sloops. I don't know why we settle on that particular territory. Minus 10, yeah, you definitely don't like us. So build a happiness building and a church school. Let's repair this. Let's bring my fleet over here as well. Hey, I thought they destroyed this. Huh. Nevertheless. Marcio Campos, you guys don't need to move anywhere. Simon Ori, you are surplus to requirements, good sir. Although you'll probably stay back as a bit of a garrison force. Actually, can you leave our cart? You can, which means that Christian Morales can leave Mysore, but the territory will stay in line. Good. So many untapped resources here. Like all of their, none of their ports are at good level. None of their infrastructure is at good levels. It's just a disaster, really. Absolute disaster. And the good Catholic peoples of Spain are coming in to let people know just... With a little bit of extra help from the Western world, we got your back. 
Let's make you a coaching in just to make sure that people cheer up a bit faster. Although this army, you can head over here as well. But a lot of these territories pro well, pr realistically can't leave. And I don't mind sacrificing a bit of um, potential income by making all of my spare buildings, church buildings, and happiness buildings, just because I'd rather do that than have problems to do with um, rebellions and so on later on. I don't really need the cash. Can Mr. Demacado leave Katak? He can. Advance down to the south. There's no immediate rush over to the Americas. Although, to be honest, we can begin our... Well, while this is going on, we can begin our um, operation to attack the Cherokee. So you men get back. Pleasure Gardens, you're a tavern. So let's upgrade you to a church school. Let's upgrade these farms. Upgrade you to a tea plantation. I mean, I'm, I might be playing as Spain, but I am British, so give me that tea. See, Barabad had more upgrades. Still not a huge amount, but it's more. More than a few. Okay, I think for the most part... Well, like I said, you guys... March down towards Bandar Abbas. I mean, that's probably not even the quickest direction for Mr. Roig, but realistically, I don't think it matters. All, all these agents, they can join the armies moving south. Yeah, intercept. Oh, you can make it to that army as well. Okay, so India is about to see receive a few massive upgrades. Can Jamie de Azara leave Nagpur? We don't know. Malwa actually already got a church school being built here, so you can be a craft workshop because you seem to be fairly content with us not being, not actively garrisoning the region anyway. Good stuff. Let's get our agents to occupy armies that are marching to the coast. Whoa, college at Lahore. Bad, bad college. But they're not happy. No, but once we destroy the school, they will be. Fleet destroyed. Again, that's rather grandiose term for a brig. Chicago. Oh, it's a new building. In Louisiana. Again, we've not really been spending as much time in the Americas as we could have been, but that's chiefly because our focus has really been better served in other regions. Let's get the territory. Don't get the territories upgraded. Okay. So, Mr. Muti, you can replenish, but we are going to attack the garrison here at Agvituk. Destroy the Inuit, and they'll bring another force ready for the battle to come. Because we are also going to need to fight the Huron to the north. So, this isn't going to be um, a complete blitzkrieg, but it's going to be pretty darn close. Because New Spain never normally builds particularly... Powerful armies. My artillery is going to deploy a high ground to the rear. My howitzers are going to be further up, firing round shot. We're going to human wave our way forward, taking on ridiculous casualties. So you all deploy to the south if you have to, or well, the left flank. All my cavalry on the right, general in the center. Whichever general on the right, I should say. I'm just getting into a bit of a habit now. Push on all my cavalry. 
I know they've got more men than this. They're just hidden, but... I mean, look <laughs> at so much artillery. It's not... <laughs> Fine, it's like, keep troops hidden. Allow us to destroy the rest of your army with our artillery fire. See what. See if that helps you out. So these men can advance up the flank. These units can advance. Yeah, yours. That's a bit of a, just a terrain issue. Pushing units around the right flank. Get my cavalry in a more dangerous position. Yeah, let's focus fire units. Oh, well, they're beginning their charge, but my these units are, up, are ready in position. Yeah, the volleys are coming in. Push this force around the flank. We can stand to take these units and push them forward. So you men engage the Native American warriors, although I've got a feeling they just shot at the troops that are routing. Let's pick new artillery targets. Yep, the armed tribesmen are coming in. New men counter charge. Charge! They've routed before they even got to you. Definitely move on that. Especially that bowman unit, they've lost three men. All my artillery focus on the chief's bodyguard to the rear. So you men work on... Now that unit shattered, so that's fine. They're shattered. Push straight on to the garrison bowman. There. Got my carabiner real against the garrison bowman. My right flank's going to gun down their chief, it looks like. Push these troops up to this ridge line. Get all my artillery to engage the chief's bodyguard. Yep. These guys have broken just from the artillery fire. Because they know their entire army is... Well, their entire army. Their, their force is broken. It wasn't really an army, let's be honest. Nice. So the Inuit have been brought into the fold. Where their peoples can experience the enlightenment of Catholicism. Because they're growing at yeah, 96 gold a turn. Huge pop growth. 5% immigration from home theatre. 14 turns until the, the territory grows. This force has, exist for, has existed for a long time, but we're going to um, disband them because it, it's just not necessary anymore. Do a bit of upgrading. I just do not like seeing the hammers. And we've got oodles of cash. So, we have a decision point. We're going to take... Mr. Cervante. Embark him aboard ship. Senor. Sail him to Iceland. And declare war on the Danish. Let's see if the Cherokee join them. They do not. So it looks like they might have a free port. Oh, there's a little fleet here, but they're not going to help him out. Oh, just short. 
Very well. That means Mr. Delgado. Actually, first of all, we need some ships. Do I not have any spare navies except the one that's garrisoning the... Uh, that's covering the entrance to the Med? It's very short-sighted, wasn't it? Take Mr. Kuna. Kahuna. Bart them aboard ship. Sail you over to the Americas. Two fifth rates. They're probably meant to go trading. They're not going to get there in time. I don't have a fleet in the Baltic. I have a cluster of individual ships. Let's get them over there. It's a fifth rate they've got. In which case, then, I don't really want to push. I don't want to push this army across to attack Copenhagen until until the crossing is secure, because I don't want them to then sail around behind me. I mean, to be honest, I could really just stand not to upgrade this stuff. But I'm not gonna, especially when we've got a lot of infrastructure that hasn't been built. Okay, in this dry dock here, recruit a cluster of fourth rates, so either they'll get there in one turn or in two turns, we will get more ships over there. Not about to do a massive upgrading thing here either. Public servant dies. Baldomero Morales. God, my king is rubbish. Ooh. So I'm not going to worry about maxing out. He is just going to replace the governor of India. Because at least we go from a three star to a four star. He has some various traits that are kind of useful, useful in other areas. But all of our ministers are just so damn good. They're not on strike anymore. They like us now. Um, okay. So let's hit end turn. Because we've got... <laughs> well, we've got our war against the Danish. Oh, they're going to start attacking our trade fleets, I see. Hey, we won. <laughs> Suckers. We think... You think we care about our trade zones? Soon there will be no one to trade with. Yeah, intercept them, do a bit of damage. <laughs> oh, oh, Denmark. Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. This is like a slingshot. Oh no, this is exactly like it's that Simpsons clip where Molman's like, he's got that bow and arrow that's on fire and he's there like shivering as he's holding it going, please hurry. That's what that is exactly the embodiment of what those troops are like. Well, I've currently got just sat outside the uh, the border. Good. Church school upgrades are good. To be honest, we're never going to get all the whole all of this upgraded. The main thing I really want is to keep my infrastructure, or to get my, make sure my infrastructure is tip top in India so that doesn't inhibit my pulling out of troops. Um, so we can take this guy here. Oh no, there's a couple of ports, I see. That's not enough because they still have. Passage. So we need to wait for one more, one more turn till those fourth rates are built. There's a force here. Okay, so you can be our southern, or begin at the begin to build up our southern force, land and take Caracas, because everywhere else is actually. 
everything else is deployed in the on the continent or US to fight the new enemy. Well, lots of these territories here didn't really need maxed out roads because we just didn't have well upgrading roads on some of these island territories you lose a big incentive to get them and that's the mobility side because there's just nowhere to go anyway or there's no need to get travel long distances Rabien de la Croix deploy you guys cross to the Americas Let's get um, two more sixths. Fonzie Nunez. Yeah, you're getting those two howitzers. You men are getting this artillery and cavalry. So you need two howitzers and two interesting infantry units. So let's get a... Thirty-two pounders. Actually, let's get some. Get more than two infantry. Interesting infantry units because we've got so many damn cool Spanish units. It seems like a real waste to not use them in lieu of just regular infantry, especially when we've still got Spanish bandits with blunderbusses, light infantry, the Aragon volunteers, and the first Catalonia. You're going to be both in the same army. So that's eight units recruited, which means you can probably, you will lose these three infantry units. But that's okay, just get them out of the way. Okay, so over in India. The whores come into the fold. Oh, you've got a university, don't you? Short sighted. Kabarabad is the starting region with the university. Okay, Raimundo, you are not going to India because your army is not interesting. Yeah, they'll come into the fold. Santos Reyes, can you leave Satara? No, you cannot, sadly. But that's where Mr. Aguerto is going to advance across. These armies are nearly ready to move. They've just got to do a bit more replenishing. You can combine. Do some replenishing. Miguel Capitello. Advance to the south as well. Recruit a couple of sixths. You're also on your way down. So let's get a couple more. So you're ready to be sent. To be honest, they both they probably both could go across. Get over to America. Let's recruit us a sloop to garrison this port while we move our this army across with our fifth rate. Everyone else is making their way down to the transport point. Yeah, you've bumped into someone, that's fine, just run past them. Great in that, I've agreed in that. You guys are still, well, are on the move anyway, so I'm not that bothered. Gonna force here under Mr. De Cuesta. Can't leave Dagestan entirely. But you men can replace them on station. So get Mr. Cuesta over to Georgia. Where a light galley and a sixth rate will await him. To ship him over to the new world. Good stuff. Bit of a bummer. I can't just take him out. But whatever. I sure could. Eh. Won't make any difference. If I wait a turn, I'll just sail around. 
If I wait a turn, what, if I get picked up, I won't be able to attack Copenhagen anyway, because I don't have the sea dominance to do it. I'll have to wait a turn there anyway, that's okay. I think the main thing to do... Workers on strike in Punjab? No, they're not. Keep the happiness growing. Keep the upgrades coming. Keep the road upgrades going. Workers on strike in Hyderabad? Not anymore. Especially not once those buildings are finished building. Kabarabad, yeah, they are, they're upset because they've still got the university built, but I should take care of that. Manuel Medina. Yeah, it's, a sh it's one of my ships. Lots of sloops have been built, garrison ports and so on. But I don't think many people... Yeah, Mr. Cruz, you might be able to go. Yeah, Goa doesn't mind. Let's move your third-rate Infante into the port. You men embark. Sail over to the Americas. This force here, Mr. Zara. You might be able to leave Nagpur. You can. You join the growing cluster of troops to the west. Um, okay, so you need to... I mean, it's a bit of a priority to make sure this territory is as happy as can be. Because I want to try and make... The need to keep a garrison force here redundant. I'm going to need to do that through maximizing my. Uh, well, strictly speaking, I should have kept some of this army up together. Just build some militia. Or. Build some colonial dragoons in Boston and ship them northward. Now I'll get them over there quick. Let's upgrade a sloop, build another sloop in Plymouth just to transport them northward. Okay. So one of these armies I land, I want to march to about here to drive west into uh, Fort Sault Ste. Marie. And this force here at Agnitat can land and take York Factory. Then both of these forces combined can march on Yankton. Let's do a bit of upgrading here. You've got some good coverage. You not quite so much, Mr. Nadal. 177 cavalrymen. Nice. Um, okay, I'm going to put this force under sea. <laughs> that's, no, that's not even, a, not even worthwhile fighting that. I was going to win the episode there, but that was a terrible, terrible garrison fight. Yeah, go on, be a dockyard, that's fine. Can you guys leave? You can, just. Get back to the garrison and replenish. We'll get back to the fleet, get back to the fleet and replenish, not the garrison. Now um, let's hit end turn. Let everyone tick on. Yes, you know what's happening. And you can't declare war on me because you're my protectorate. No, 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 no. Now Denmark's fighting someone. New Spain, probably. Okay, so I think we might be in a good spot to uh, end this episode. Obviously, the first thing I want to do... Yeah, they raided... They, they were unhappy because of the university, but they're... They are now okay. I'm not about to do all this building stuff. The only thing I need to make sure I do is this fleet arrives. Fabio de Croix. Let's sail you over to Punda. So our southern offensive is quite well manned. Two units, two armies to land and hit Caracas, drive through the Amazon towards Bogota. That's quite a good start. Then over in Europe, we can take these two fourth, well, these three fourth rates. 
blockade this force here in Lübeck. And that means my army can march over towards Copenhagen, not get there within a turn, which is a bit of a bummer, but there we are. Let's take these cavalrymen away from Amsterdam and sit them on the bridge. Probably join them by this militia from Dresden. And because I want to end the episode on a interesting note, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare war on the Cherokee. Diplomacy, Cherokee. They're very friendly. Ah, because we've got a peace treaty. But what if I... Ooh, they're allied with the Huron. Okay, meh, screw it. Declare war. The Huron have not joined the Cherokee. Good. So now this force march and hit Chikasa. This force march and hit Teleco. My spy is going to go over to Yankton. Um, but the interesting bit that people are probably wanting to see is Alfonso Mendez, who's been here for an awful long time, is going to attack the city of Savannah. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time um, for well, for the start of the war against war for the end of the Cherokee, and then soon after that, the end of Denmark and war with the Spanish Empire. No, New Spain, not the Spanish Empire, that's me! See you later, everyone.